Okay, I'm going to share a video today about uh, pellet casting. Now, if you haven't watched my video yet of the review between a 22 caliber or a Ruger 10-22 and a 22 caliber air rifle, uh, check that out. In that, I was kind of talking about why I think that's a better weapon uh, for kind of a survival situation, and I'm going to demonstrate now uh, one of the big reasons why I think that is so. Um, it's kind of interesting, right now 22 shells are really hard to come by. And I would think that in a survival situation that's going to even be more so the case. But are you going to be able to get pellets? Well, you know, perhaps not, but I'm going to show you right now how you can make them. And if you think about it, lead will be very easy to come by. There's lead in batteries, uh, like car batteries. Of course, you'd have to be careful of the acid and whatnot and wash it correctly. But then there's also lead on tire weights and things like that, fishing stuff. I think you'll always be able to find lead. So I'm going to show you how to make some lead pellets. So what I'm using here, these are just lead 50 cal uh, muzzle loading balls to kind of show you, but we could get our lead from all different places. So we're going to heat the lead up. You need to do this in a well ventilated area, uh, due to the lead of course. This will take just a second. molten lead, we're just going to pour this into the mold. We're going to let that set for just a second. And we're going to cut the tops off. Now I'm going to show you how we pour this out. Okay, so here's our casting. We've cut the tops off. What we're going to do is just dump them out. And what these are, these are our pellet castings. You can see them in place there. So we're just going to pull them out. And we can save this for the next run. Okay, so there's our little pellet casts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to forge a pellet. So what we do is we take this little tool. Now this little tool, I found this online. Uh, just search pellet casting or 22 caliber pellet casting and you'll find it. It's a guy over in Great Britain that creates these and it actually came pretty quick. It only took about two weeks to get it and here I am making pellets. So okay we put that together. A couple nice little smacks with the hammer. We pull this apart. Now there you can see our pellet is forged in there. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a razor blade and trim the top of that pellet off, or the back end of that pellet off, so it's nice and smooth. Now to pull it out, we're going to set it on this little stand, give it a little pop, and there is our forged pellet. I'm hoping you can see that good and focused on there. These are all forged, ready to go. So you can see with pretty easy effort and no real special tools other than this little die, it's pretty easy to make your own pellets. Um, for killing small game and stuff like that, I have been very impressed with that rifle. And now to be able to show you that we can easily make our own pellets, uh, what's stopping you? Go get one of those nice air rifles. Now there's a lot of different manufacturers out there. I tend to like the FX uh, brand. Those are some of the more expensive ones out there, but there's a ton available. Um, the capabilities are really limitless. Okay, here again I'm just going to kind of show you everything. Uh, these are our castings. These are our forged pellets that we have forged in the tool. Uh, this again is the cast. This is the forger. Um, kind of give you an idea too, maybe bullet grain size. You know, they're, they're pretty close. These have been coming out to about a 22 grain pellet and I'm getting a deviance of about two-tenths of a grain, so it's pretty accurate. Um, I'm really excited about 
the capability the being able to build your own pellets uh, and very simply if you have the right set up here a hammer and a fire is really all you need uh, and you can create pellets I, I like the the idea that I don't have to rely on getting my ammunition from the store I can actually create it and in a bad situation where I'm surviving or whatever like that I don't have to rely on running down to the store and getting pellets I can make them uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm going to keep trying to do kind of unique things and show you more. Thanks.